All right, what we're going to do with this lesson is we're going to look at this piecewise function right here, and we're going to find the extreme values uh, of this piecewise function. So the first thing we need to do is just kind of get a graph of what this function looks like, and the way that we're going to do that is we're going to remember that if we're uh, for x values up to and including 1, we're going to use 5 minus 2x squared, which is going to give us an upside-down parabola. For values that are greater than 1, we're going to use the equation x plus 2. Okay, so the weird thing that's going to happen here is we need to know what's going on at 2. Is that point included? Does it exist? What's going on there? And so um, we're just going to, we're going to check it out, okay? And here's, here's what you're going to do. Uh, you're going to go ahead and graph in purple the 5 minus 2x squared. And so what I did was I picked 0 and 1 because I knew that those 2x values are on my graph. And when I put 0 in, I got 5 for y. And when I put 0 in, I got 3 for y. Okay, so that's two of my points. And I did that in purple. In teal, then, I do the x plus 2 part. And I can go up to but not include 1. And since I can go up to but not include 1, I actually am going to solve that guy out at 1. And when I put 1 into x plus 2, I get 3. And then that's just going to be a line with slope of 1. Okay, so I get a graph that looks like this. Now, I am defined at 1, okay? Uh, both... Uh, both of these graphs will meet at 1, okay? And that's a really critical piece of information. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and look at derivative of both sides. So we're going to look at derivative of purple, which is going to be 5 minus 2x squared, derivative of that guy, which is negative 4x. And when you're trying to find extremes, you're going to set it equal to 0. Uh, the derivative in the numerator and on the, the, the in the numerator and denominator, set them equal to zero. We want to know where the derivative either does not exist or is equal to zero. That's why we do that. And at those values, we're going to get uh, our, extreme, our extreme numbers. Okay, so in this case, x is going to be zero. Uh, when I put zero in, I get five. And we knew that, like we had that written down already. Okay, next up then is going to be the teal one, x plus two. The derivative of that is just one. That's all there is. It's just one. There's no large rate of change there so you can't really set that equal to zero uh, at all but we do know that our function is defined at one and we know that both parts of that function meet at the x coordinate of one um, and so we we notice that okay and we take we notice that it's going to be equal to three now remember there's four places that you can't have a derivative and so if we're looking at this piecewise function the derivative technically doesn't exist at one because there's a corner point there all right, but it since it does not exist, that gives us the possibility that it could be a minimum or a maximum. Well, if you look at this graph, you can see that it's going to be a minimum. Okay, and so uh, what are the values that we're interested in here? Well, we're interested in the point zero when x is zero, we get a max value of five, and when the point is one, we get a minimum value of three. Those are the local extremes uh, for this particular problem.